Hello everybody, welcome to a new update of my project. My 9312. So I'm in a car. Uh, this will be showing you a little bit about some things at work and uh, yeah, try to give some information how far I am. So I think this is the last video before I'm going to do the first real start attempt. I will show you uh, oil pressure and that sort of stuff. I can show you that just turning over the engine because the spark plugs are out of it. You can have to see that in the last video. So at first, um, so uh, put the car in contact. You can hear the start motor running for four seconds, pressurizing the system. That can all be adjusted. So um, all the warning lights are on, transmission controller is on, and I'm connected to the ECU. So. As you can see here, when I push the throttle, you can see those things are just working. Uh, the rest has also been adjusted, so there are some some people will be known to the system, some not. So we can crank over the engine. Just show you that I have oil pressure. Here's my oil pressure gauge. Have a look. I can do it with one hand. Let's show you. So I push the throttle fully open just to get them less resistance. And you also hear the fuel pump running. So normally it would inject uh, uh, fuel, but I got this is the fuse from powering the injector, so that's off. So that's all okay. So that all works. Um, so how does it work with all the input? So you can do a lot of things. So like base setups, you can change like here. Uh, primary settings. I also did my uh, primary settings. So I just have uh, in the last video. I don't know for sure if somebody, some people know that I bought a V8 uh, trigger wheel. I will put some pictures below on my website. I will show you a picture uh, of the trigger wheel and uh, what top dead center now is and what it normally is. <coughs> so I have uh, top dead center after the trigger. That means that uh, after the opening. Uh, where the trigger is, so I got a 62 uh, trigger wheel, that means 84 two, eight, uh, uh, 58 teeth and 2 knots, 2 are open, so that's the trigger. So the first after that opening is, is uh, trigger 0, and then I have another 5 tooth. So in total, the 6th tooth after the trigger, that's where I have top that center, that's what my signal is measuring, the primary trigger. So every because I got uh, you got 360 degrees and you got 62, so it's 85 plus the two missing. Every teeth as is six degrees away from each other. So so that's how it works with the primary trigger. So um, what also is nice to know is. If you can see here, uh, my injector settings is also maybe nice to show you. Injector outputs. You can see I got uh, eight outputs, and six are because I got uh, every cylinder bank has an injector, and they are paired by two. So six injectors per cylinder bank, twelve injectors paired by two got six pairs. So all the outputs are selected. I got uh, one injector output I'm using because there are eight outputs. I'm using for the fuel pump channel, and this one, the Minsk one, will be used for my camp sensor. So that's not in place now uh, because I don't know the RPM range yet. So that will be done when it's going on the bank. So let's show you the ignition outputs. So I got only two outputs, but there are like six in place. But this will work like a uh, waste park function because I don't have a camp sensor. So it will also be uh, sparking on the uh, exhaust. Uh, how is that? Um, exhaust rotation. So not only on the uh, compression and uh, burn uh, when the compression is, 
will be in ignition but also in the exhaust rotation so um, inputs you also can see so input channels I got uh, have a look if it is here no I can only one select it have a look no I put that let's say output assigned channel so this maybe this is nice to see so as you can see here I got uh, four are assigned so I got the uh, this is the cam the water pump I'm using for the second fan cooling channels for the first fan it is my full pump channel so what nice is I can show you that they are working so if I you can just test the channels have a look if it works so this is my cooling fan So you can hear the fan, hope you can hear it, and I can do the other one, and I can do, I don't know if I can do the fuel pump, yeah, it's also working. So in this channel, yes, the clicking, you cannot hear it, because in the injector options it's not faint that is needs to be on, that's why this is not working now. Off. So uh, this is for engine wise, for transmission wise also nice what I did. I put the flippers on the steering wheel and I connected everything. So let's get the horn out. You can see I got some wiring work in the steering wheel. So how does it work? It uses the the positive and the negative connection through the steering wheel to shift the pedal. So if I push uh, this one, I need to put back an auto. If I push the negative, so downshift, it will shift to manual shifting. If I push it back to auto, positive is also doing the same. If I now put it in D, I can go to auto and it will shift up. Of course I'm standing still, it now shifts back automatically, but I can shift it up if I'm fast enough. Look. And now it shifts back automatically, so that works pretty good. The only thing I'm still busy with is uh, normally you should uh, get, uh, there are two resistors in it, one resistor for down, one for, for up, and they're all different values, and there's one different value for uh, shifting <coughs> of a push the steering wheel and that will put an output to the ground and this relay that's on the ground that needs to be connected that will put this relay uh, the connection to ground and make the horn work so that needs to be sorted out I am I'm busy with off here to get it all working so that's how far I am right now with this so at the moment I'm um, so the next thing what this needs to be done is uh, DP engineering that's uh, going to adjust my car on the dyno. That also delivers me a base map for this to get it started. So he's going to have a look into my ECU that I put all the outputs at the right place. That everything is good. All the adjustments are good. And then I'm going to uh, put the spark plugs in and try to start the engine. And that will be the next video. So keep on watching. So I hope you like this video. Have a look at my website, James Speed Shop. So the next video will be pretty interesting. If you're not already subscribed to this page in the right corner of you, use my logo, click on it, go to my main page, have a look in the playlist, and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.